What is going on everyone? Welcome again to another video here on the Fox Tech YouTube channel. This time we talk about the Apple Music and the topic is more specifically how you can sync iPhone Apple Music to the Mac. So in case you use it on both devices, how can you actually sync it together? Now it is totally possible because this basically means that you just copy the songs and music on your iPhone to the Mac computer and this helps ensure that your music collection is stored in two places and it's the same stuff. So your iPhone and the Mac and it makes it possible to manage it and manage the access on both devices. It's very useful. Of course, what you have to do on the uh, Mac is to open up the music application. So you're gonna go in this section and you can scroll through all of the options which you can see available right here. But what I want you to click on is in the upper right corner in the music section, in the um, next to the Apple logo, you can see the music button. So click on it, the settings, which is right under it right here and you will get to the same section as you can see right here on the screen so i can minimize um, this thing right here and as you can see the very first option inside of the general section because you also have the playback files and advanced section but the general one of the option is sync library for me it is turned on this means that show all music you've added purchased and uploaded the music on this computer will appear on the other devices after syncing with the cloud so that's something that i just keep turn on i just want to have it everything put together synced together that way i have all the same stuff all the same songs present on both devices this is the option i need to have turned on of course there are other different things you need to know about it for example as you can see after the thing right here the sync library has in the brackets the email address but it's basically the email address i use for my apple id so in this case all i have to do is just just to make sure that the iphone i use with it also has the same apple id so in this case what i'm gonna have to do is to fire it up inside of the settings right here on my iphone so i need to get inside and at the top completely at the top you need to make sure when you click on your name that your Apple ID is the same. So for me, you can see the very same email address being used for both devices. And that's how you can basically make sure that it can be synced through the same email. By the way, guys, I need to make sure to show you this little thing I've been working on. So if you go ahead and look it up down below in the description, you're going to be able to get to this educational platform, which I created called Fox Tech. As I said, it is free to join. And here you'll be able to find the community of people which are learning about their iPhones as well. And also in the classroom section, you have a free video editing course as well as all apps explained as of right now, but I'm going to be adding new stuff and new content in here. So definitely go ahead and check it out and make sure you never miss things which are regarding your iPhone. So I'm going to wrap up this video right now. Hope you found it useful. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, but definitely subscribe down below so you never miss future tutorials and videos like this one. Thanks a lot for watching and see you guys later.